Welcome to Comet Discussion, where we discuss what needs to be discussed. And today, we're talking about the possibility of a white person being in a panther suit. Now, just like everyone else, I seen the meme a couple of months ago that was a response to woke culture and race swapping in movies. And I initially thought to myself, this is funny and ridiculous, all wrapped up in a pile of chicken boo boo. And then I began to think and think again and realize what if, or better yet, this is possible. If we're talking about multiverse of madness possible. Now hear me out. In Marvel's continuity, T'Challa indeed has an adopted Caucasian older brother named Hunter, which the character was created by Christopher Priest and Mark takes Sarah. And the story goes, Hunter's parents died in a plane crash just north of the Wakandan border. And he later grew up to be the loyalist White Wolf, leader of the Wakandan secret police known as the Hatit Zeraz or Dogs of War. But in MCU, they're called War Dogs. And they gave the title of White Wolf to Bucky Barnes, which was an Easter egg for the loyal fans who knows the source material. Mmm, imagine that. Hunter being introduced in Black Panther 3 or 4. King T'Chaka would definitely be known as the king with many secrets. Now, if it would happen he became the Black Panther, it would have to happen in an alternate reality. Since in our main reality, the monarchy doesn't extend to adoptees, but isn't limited to alternate universes. Meaning, it's highly possible that there's a Caucasian man named Hunter that was adopted by King T'Chaka who sits upon the throne of Wakanda in an alternate universe. If Prince T'Challa and Princess Shuri were never born, so King T'Chaka anointed him heir to Wakanda's throne upon his deathbed. So uh, most likely, Hunter will go through the most horrendous term of leadership known to man and will possibly relinquish the throne due to many factors, some of them being xenophobia amongst the Wakandans who will feel King T'Chaka became a madman before his death and wasn't in his right mind, thus causing civil war amongst the Wakandans. And also, Mumbaku, Killmonger, and other relatives coming to claim the throne, outside forces trying to convince him his loyalty is with the white race, so he should open Wakanda's door to colonization and many other chaotic things. Now, it's not unheard of for a white man to wear one of the Black Panther suits, as Everett Ross, who also was created by Christopher Priest, along with Kenny Martinez, has temporarily donned the mantle after King T'Challa needed a substitute in order to handle other affairs outside of Wakanda. Nevertheless, in a strange turn of event in a What If comic of 2005 created by Steve Ditko and Jim Mafood, T'Challa was indeed white in alternate Earth 200505, where T'Challa amassed himself inadvertently revealing he was white to the Avengers, who was surprised and disappointed all at the same time since it violate their policy of having at least one token black guy as a member to their active roster, which disappointed T'Challa who then stormed out after being appalled. So, uh, therefore, a white guy as the Black Panther could be, would be, should be, and is be a comic I would read. And besides, Timothy Fox took up the mantle of Batman on Prime Earth in the I Am Batman series. And Wayne Williams is Batman in DC Comics version of the What If series called Just Imagine. That being said, let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. And until next time, I'm out.